Alright, hi guys, welcome to part 5 of my brother's A Tale of Two Sons playthrough. And now last time I was thinking, oh yeah, I'm like halfway through on like chapter 4. Um, but looking at the chapter like select thing, this is chapter 7. We managed to go through like 3 chapters or something in like the last episode. So I don't know how that happened, but anyway. Um, yeah, so we met up with this chick who was getting... Um, I don't know, this, this tribe looked like they were going to eat her or sacrifice her or something. Uh, we saved her and um, she's kind of got the hot. She's kind of got the hot for the, the big brother. Um, and I think as you can see here, the little brother isn't so impressed with her. You know, I think we've all been there, Big Brother thinking more with his, uh, well, one of his heads more than the other. Uh, but anyway, here we go, into a creep, and it's not very good that she's behind us. Um, but yeah, more creepy statues or something. Um, so, yeah. Oh, actually, it's like spazzing out or something. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, the sound design on that. What? Okay, now th th this was unexpected. So we've ended up with the... Oh my god, that is... Oh my god. <laughs> we've ended up with like a freaking spider woman. And the little guy's knocked out. Um, okay. So I'm just gonna try and like swing us back and forth. And see if that does anything. I guess we have to roll him somewhere. I'm not sure Actually, she's not even a. Sp oh, actually, I was gonna say she's only got six legs, but she's got the. She's got a human arm as well. What's she doing? She's like tickling him or something. Oh, okay, we're gonna pull, pull her legs off. Okay, I don't even know how. Oh my god, look at that. That's nasty. I don't even know how I managed to, um. knock her down other than just rolling into her over and over again. So I'm just going to try that again. Oh, okay, I pressed um, the right trigger as the ball, and apparently that, that did something. But yeah, apparently we're on chapter 7, not chapter 4, like I thought we were. Um, I was thinking, like, this game was... There was a lot that they were introducing, Okay, I was getting confused. I was thinking, oh crap. I thought the one that was like already being pulled off was the one that um, she had like stuck out, but it was the one at the bottom there, so that was my fault. Alright, come on, little guy. Boom, right in the butt. Spider butt. Okay, she's not gonna be able to last much longer. It's like three legs. Oh, okay, we can do it without her even having to get him. Okay. Okay, that makes no sense, like that, like physics-wise. Okay, actually, she's, if she's dragging her butt along the floor, then I guess that makes more sense. 
See, this came out of nowhere. This was like left field. Look how pathetic she is. And there you go. The trick might be to stop sticking out your freaking legs. Oh! Fong in the stomach. She's so she's dead after having her legs pulled off. And he just took he just took a a, a spider leg in the gut. Looks like. It's almost like they have some sort of like psychic connection thing so they can talk to each other. Like he knows that they're in danger. Okay, so I guess it makes sense now why they wanted to um why they wanted to dispatch of her. Well they did take it quite far, like I don't know how they managed to why wasn't she just a, a spider when they were trying to kill her and kill them? I don't know. This reminds me of Ice Age. I actually haven't watched in ages. Let's get around to that again. The tree. That must be the tree. Which is actually kind of lucky because we were going to go the other way. So yeah, they've been looking for the, the tree because oh, we just saw there their dad was ill on the table, and uh, we need to get something from this tree that's meant to help him. And actually, if it kind of revives people, we can use it on the big brother as well. So I guess we're sorted. Okay, it looks like we're gonna have to climb up the side of it. Actually, maybe just walk in, and then we can walk around it. But there are mushrooms, which make it look like you can climb up it. He's looking pale. Oh my god, look at that, it's literally like a hole. Okay, he's got a little bag of something. And he's like, go, go up the tree. I'll be fine, don't worry about me. I'll just sit here on this boulder. Can I have a look around first? Look at this area, this is pretty interesting. Oh, we're in like space or something. look across and I'll just be like Rainbow Road. Okay, I guess we better... Actually, can we... No, okay. Alright, here we go. Little dude's gonna come and save the day. I still don't know exactly what we're looking for. Like, are we looking for a person or like some sort of like ingredient? That um, that like shot is pretty cool. It's like a weird painting or something. You're gonna get them like stairs that are like upside down or something, and don't make sense. These bits kind of like weird though, because like there's no tension because you just hold the, the stick and. He's perfectly fine, so... Okay, so we can either go left or right. Actually, no, we can't. Okay, we can go left. So yeah, this was a um, Game Pass game. I've got like four others I've got to try and do in like ten days. So that'll be interesting to see how that goes. And the funny thing is I've got like the two shortest ones like out of the way first, because... I'm guessing we're on like the home straight, seeing how we're at the tree now. Okay, we're gonna have to face like a big bird or something. Maybe. Um. Oh, okay, that looks like. This looks like we might be at the thing already. Okay, so 
okay, it's like a Lazarus pit kind of thing. Maybe it's like a, a, a youth fountain or like a healing fountain. So we're gonna have to like put our bag, like collect it in our bag or like the water bowl. Okay, it's bowl. It looked like a bag. It should have had bubbles coming out the top though, because if you've been in the bath and you've had like a ball or something, then there's bubbles come to the top when you fill it up. That's common knowledge. I mean, you could just walk back down, because like if we die here, this is incredibly silly. Okay, and even the um. It's like the cool, like, windy thing that I just said from the other, like, kind of tableau as we walked across the center of the tree that came into play as it was the slide up for the way back down, which is pretty cool. And he looks like he's he's gone. Use, use the water. Here we go, yep. Yeah. Well, like, pour on his wound. Pretty cool though how like the you can see like the the veins and everything are like grey. <laughs> I don't know, I feel like I should be like sad but I, I just I don't know. I'm just like okay, that happened. Okay, that was nice, I can get behind that, that was cool. We've got no idea how he's going to get back to his dad, like, on his own. Because if there's any water, as we've seen, he's totally screwed. Appearing and disappearing mud. We're gonna have to like bury him as well. Yeah, we're, I guess we're gonna have to go and like drag him in. Oh god, it's gonna take a while. Another pretty cool looking um, area though. Like you can imagine the like concept art and everything. Look pretty neat. Perfect size, though. Did well there. And I'm gonna have to go around each mound and push it in. You bet your ass we are. Very uh, fluid. 
gloopy uh, sludge mud this is. Can we go in this way? No, because we're blocked by a branch. Okay. Here it goes. One more. I was hoping we were going to get like a, a good, like long shot the whole thing we did, so that's great cool actually. Like a blossomy hanging willow. I'm guessing this is the same one that helped us out before, who actually looks much uh, better recovered. Wait, I actually didn't even want to die or something. So, no, I gather, I don't know. It might just be uh, either the same one with a miraculous recovery or like its friend or something, I don't know. So, now we're gonna have to take it back to. See, just imagine how easy it would have been if we'd had. Uh, that in the first place, and we could have just took that from their house and it's gone straight to the tree. Because clearly there's like a, a direct line to go. Mm -hmm. Past all the old environments, that's pretty cool. End of Jurassic Park, flying into the sunset. Which I never got why they just left the the pterodactyls to fly into the sunset because it made no sense. Like, why would you let them escape to go and eat more people? But never mind. Oh, that's cool. Luckily the stream hasn't overflown or broke its banks. Do we do we still even have the, the ball? I can't see it on him. Hopefully he hasn't forgot it. Maybe he's got it hidden away somewhere good. This is cool. I was just trying, I was just trying to work out why it seems so different and it's because we have okay we have to go to that one okay, why is this not working okay now I'll go okay I'll try to get up a new point and wait uh, and it's because we have the different camera angle. So it actually looks pretty cool like this. Uh, okay, get down. Okay, good. Not the first game where you start off, well not start off, but where you go from a, a beach area to with the, the beach area with the, the sea lapping like Crush Bandicoot no boxes to break in this one and here's his mother 
he's gonna be like, you can do it. I believe in you. Bye bye. Now swim, boy. I don't know where his legs. Are. Oh no, he's kneeling down. Okay. Look, very uh, stumpy. At least the gibberish isn't as um, annoying as like the rare games. So I was playing Banjo Kazooie, and the the voice there he goes. He's got the the thing. That's right. The voice in that are so annoying. Like like that. Like kind of bullshit. Piss me off. But okay. Uh... So she just told him. To do it and he won't do it unless I'm gonna Okay, so he's bracing himself, okay. He doesn't want to go any further in. And the control is rumbling. Just swim, damn it. So if you hold the left trigger, he kind of channels his brother's inner strength or something. Which is why we're getting that like zoomed in thing. That's what's happening there. So okay, that's kind of cool. Like his brother's kind of like pushing him on, like willing him on. Up these stairs. Okay, cool. We're nearly there, I think. Can we go left? See what? See what's up here? Well, maybe this is the way we're meant to go because if you went left, there was a uh, right. Rather, well, there was a um, a lever, which I don't think we'd be able to. Managed to pull because we're really small, unless now we have to channel the big weather thing again. So, yeah, it's so the, the cliff top from the game titles, title screen. I think we can do with this house. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. So he went to pay respects to his mum. Well, actually, they both did because if we did the the left trigger, we had the um, the brother saying some stuff there as well. So now let's see if we do the left trigger. Does he pull it? <laughs> yes. There we go. <laughs> Good job. Now, can you not just reach the bottom of that? Okay, you're stuck on a rock. Dun, 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 dun. Dun. Oh, okay, this is where we started. Like the opening thing. Okay, yeah, and then the dude's house. Okay, so here we go, people. I'm guessing it's going to be the ending. Now, are we going to go into the future and he's fine, or are we going to have like a miraculous recovery and he's suddenly like doing backflips and stuff. Okay, cool, we're going for a passage of time. That makes more sense. Wake up, sunny, 
and his dad's there. Let's see. There's a pile of stones. Maybe to commemorate the brother. Can we do anything with them? Skim them! He's pretty good. He's managing to get like a curl on them as well, that's impressive. Anything left? Okay, more reeds and shoreline. Okay, let's go this way. Ah, to the house. So I'm guessing this is the next morning, maybe. Okay, now we can go and think of the mom. And then maybe that'll be the ending. And then it'll go back to, um... Like, the main menu. So the main menu's after the game's finished. So that makes sense. Oh, the dad's there. Can we do anything with this door now? Oh, he's smelling the flower. And get a good whiff. Okay. So we'll go and see the dad now. Oh, and they've got a new um, headstone. A hardened veteran. He's gonna have to be the man of the house and help his dad. And they possibly have a pet hippogriff or griffin thing. Alright, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that is brothers. Tale of Two Sons. Now, of course, we'll have to go back through and get all the uh, achievements. Um, so, yeah, that'll be fun. So, overall, pretty enjoyable. Like, it's pretty straightforward, like the story. Um, some cool little moments. Um, like, the, the one that stands out is the... Like, the tethering mechanic was pretty cool. Like, having them, like, strapped together and having to work their way up that um, kind of gate thing. Uh, other than that, I think that's pretty much it. So, uh, yeah, there you go. That's uh, Brothers, Tale of Two Sons. I was worried when I stopped, when I realised that this was Chapter 7. Well, I was starting on Chapter 7 here because I thought I was, like, halfway through. But I was like, okay, I'm on the last chapter and there's an epilogue. But actually, it's carried us to, like, half an hour, which is actually pretty decent going. Because um, I didn't want it to be, like, a ten-minute segment or, like, a ten-minute video and the other ones, the other parts have been, like half an hour, uh, like 40 odd minutes, whatever. So yeah, there you go, there's there's the story. Um, like and subscribe, all that bollocks. Um, and thanks for watching. If you've came on the entire journey, thanks a lot. If you just watched this one, then that's cool too. Yeah, so you see that, Norius, Yoi, Quist, and Carl Magnus Liedal. That's kind of Norwegian y, which is what I thought they sounded like or something, so happy with that. Um, so, yeah, a lot of 
possible videos coming up soon. Uh, I try to do every Wednesday and Saturday. Put up a new video, which is pretty easy with the, um, the scheduling thing, which I didn't realise was there because I was a noob. And I've been going on every day and uploading a new one like every day. But no, worked out how to do the scheduling now, so that's all fixed. So um, yeah, this game came out in 2013. So again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe. So that was Nukes Plays with a playthrough of Brothers of Tale of Two Sons for the fifth time. Uh, that was part five. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for joining. Stay awesome. And I'll see you guys next time for the next video. Thanks a lot.